Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good day to all I wish that all of you are in good health, be it physically or mentally We are here again today for the 7th installment of Lepton and Mecca Proudly brought to you by Physics Units of Melaka Matriculation College On this beloved day, we will discuss about Chapter 9, Simple Harmonic Motion Ha, As the name suggests, this chapter is also simple, isn't it? Our panel for this chapter is Madam Noraida Binti Sobri. Before I pass the floor to Madam Noraida, please make sure that you have with you your notes, pen, paper and a calculator. If you don't have it, pause the video and cap them now. Right. Without any further ado, please welcome Madam Noraida. Mecca and Lepton session hari ni kita akan tengok chapter 9 which is simple harmonic motion ok so ada yang saya akan discuss hari ni you all boleh tengok dalam buku back skew ok kita terus pergi dekat soalan look at question number 1 dalam back skew question booklet so kita tengok question number 1 so uh, soalan number 1 so first you suruh explain simple harmonic motion as periodic motion without loss of energy ok, ni kita tengok equation dia dengan um, definition dia ok, kita terus pergi equation number 1B so, kita ada figure figure of graph displacement time so, info yang dia bagi dekat sini is the angular velocity 3.5 so, apa info yang kita boleh dapat from the graph so, kita boleh dapat Ok, displacement dia A dia A dia 5 6 cm So, omega dia bagi 3.5 radian per second Dari omega kita boleh dapat Omega equal to 2 pi over t So, t sama dengan 3 sum equal to Uh, 2 pi over 3.5 so t kita sini kita dapat 1.8 second ok itu info yang dia bagi tengok soalan dia so for this oscillator sketch and label the graph of velocity times dengan acceleration time so sebelum kita boleh sketch kita kena ada dulu dia punya equation tapi soalan tak bagi equation but given is the graph displacement time ok daripada graph kita boleh dapatkan uh, equation untuk displacement time ini so recall balik kita ada general what is the general equation for the displacement so x equal to a sin omega t So, graph ini graph sign. Kenapa graph sign? Tengok balik. When t zero displacement also zero. Maksudnya betul lah graph kita ni graph sign. So, A kita dah ada. A kita 6 cm. Omega pun dah ada 3.5. So, T. So, this is our equation untuk displacement. Uh, displacement. Okay, soalan ni dia bukan nak displacement. Soalan ini dia nak graph velocity time dengan acceleration time so kita kena buat dulu kita buat dulu lah untuk yang first untuk velocity against time so v equal to dx over dt so differentiate a sin omega t over dt So, equation kita sini tadi D 6 sin omega t over dt So, equation kita sini dapat Differentiate 6 Differentiate sin jadi Cos omega t Time dengan 
Memilikan kita 3.5 So 3.5 So sini kita dapat 21 cos uh, 3.5 T So ini equation untuk V So dah dapat equation dia Kita boleh sketch Mula sketch the graph Ok so 1, 2, 3, 4 Kenapa 4? Itu adalah untuk Ada kewihan 4 quarter untuk 1 period So sini kita ada V unit dia CM per second Sini kita ada T in second Ok so Lepas tu So kita ada apa sini So kita nak plot graph dia Equation kita Equation cos Cos positif So bila cos positif Maximum displacement kita sini 21 So bila 21 Kita ada kat sini kan So terus masuk dekat graph So sini 21 Sini negatif 21 Graf positif cos So dia jadi um. Ok this is graf Positif cos Jangan lupa label T dia T kita 1.8 Ok settle untuk A velocity against time Ok kita nak Buat second graph pula So second graph Kita nak Graph apa tu Kita nak graph uh, Acceleration time So graph acceleration time Kita kena buat Form dulu equation Tadi equation untuk V Now kita nak buat equation untuk uh, A against T So A equal to dV over dt Apa equation kita tadi? Kita ada D 21 cos 3.5 T over dt Differentiate uh, Constant 21 Sini 21 Differentiate Cos kita dapat negative Sine 3.5 T Differentiate 3.5 T Kita dapat 3.5 So sini kita ada Negative 73.5 Sine 3.5 T. Ini equation untuk A T So equation kita dah ada Now kita nak sketch the graph of A against T Sama juga ada 4 quarter 1 to 3 4 Sini T in second Here we have A So C M S negative 2 Maximum uh, A dia Ok kita ada positif negatif Sini 73.5 Negatif 73.5 So graph kita Graph negatif sign Maksudnya graph kita start daripada Bawah Sini 1.8 second Ok Settle untuk question number 1Okay, our second question is Kita nak discuss question number 3 Dalam buku PECS Q Ok, ni soalan dia So, dia given graph F against X Then, soalan dia um, 
graph show the relationship between force and its displacement x from a fixed point for a body of mass 1.2 kg so body of mass ni they in simple harmonic motion question first they sort of find the amplitude of the body so amplitude dia mana dapat amplitude dia so kita take out information first so kita ada mass 1.2 kg so F kita F kita 4 newton mass kita 1.2 kg and x is uh, displacement dia 1 meter so because of kita punya x je sini 1 maksudnya amplitude kita ni pun so amplitude equal to 1 meter so settle untuk A question B period of the body so period of the body soalan dia suruh cari T mana dapat T ni ok so kita ada equation F equal to KX ini kita dapat from the Hooke's law so K also equal to M omega square F kita dah ada X pun dah ada so from this two relationship kita boleh keluarkan balik F equal to M omega square so meaning here F equal to M omega square X so then we substitute our F is 4 M kita 1.2 omega tak ada kita nak cari omega nak relate omega dengan T so X kita 1 so calculate substitute so omega kita dapat 1.83 so unit for omega is radian per second so baru dapat omega belum dapat period lagi so now we are going to relate omega dengan T so omega equal to 2 pi over T so T equal to 2 pi over 1.83 so our t equal to 3.43 second ok so settle untuk b period and question c dia nak maximum speed of the body so maximum speed of the body so means kita anak v equal to a omega a kita dah ada A kita 1 Omega pun dah ada 1.83 So sini kita dapat 1.83 Velocity Unit dia Meter per second So settle for question Number 3 Okay, we continue with question number 4 from text Q question chapter 9. So, an object moving with simple harmonic motion of amplitude x0. So, kita punya A is x0. What is the ratio of kinetic energy to the potential energy? When the displacement x is equal to 1 over 2 x not x equal to 1 over 2 x not Okay, kinetic energy to the potential energy. Kita tulis balik equation for the kinetic energy. 1 over 2 m omega square. A square tolak X square over potential energy 
1 over 2m omega square x square. So we cancel out half m omega square. So equation kita dah jadi a square of minus x square over x. So we substitute kita punya a square to x not square minus our x is half x. So sini hmm, x not over 2 square over x not over 2 square. Next we uh, factorize x square. So sini jadi x not square 1 minus x not square square x not square to kita uh, factorize so here become 1 over 4 over mm, over uh, x not square over 4 so factor ok we cancel out x not so sini x not square x not square so our equation becomes so 1 minus 1 over 4 so sini 3 over 4 over 1 over 4 sebenarnya sama juga dengan 3 over 4 times 4 over 1 so equal to 3 ok, settle for question A for question B what is the displacement of the object when kinetic energy is exactly equal to the potential energy kinetic energy Half m omega square a square minus x square potential energy half m omega square x square. We cancel half m omega square left and right. So our equation jadi a square minus x square equal to x square. So, a square equal to 2x square. 2x square equal to a square equal to apa tadi? a equal to x not. a equal to x not kan? Oops. A equal to x naught, so x naught square. So x square equal to x naught square over 2. So x equal to square root x naught square over 2. So actually, dia sama juga dengan x naught over set 2. Okay, done. So, x equal to x not over is set to. Okay, settle question number 4. Continue with question number 5. Okay, what is the length of simple pendulum that makes 75 oscillation in 170 second? Okay, dia tanya length. Find the length. Find the length. So, second is the what is the period? 
if it approach to the moon where the acceleration due to gravity is half 1 over 6 acceleration due to gravity on it Okay, number 5 E1 Kita nak cari length dulu E1 Okay, so Number of oscillation is 75 Oscillation In 170 second So, meaning so, T equal to 170 divided by 75. So, we get T is 2.27 second. So, kita nak cari length. Length for a period for the pendulum. T equal to 2 pi third L over G. So, our T is 2.27 equal to 2 pi L over 9.81. So, we get our L equal to 1.28 meter. Okay, that one for question number 1, A1. We go to question number uh, 5, A2. So, given uh, our, our new G equal to 9.81 over 6. So, sini kita dapat G at the moon equal to 1.635 ms negative 2. So, um, question is going to find Period T equal to 2 pi L over G. Uh, we are using the same pendulum. So, same L. So, we just substitute the value of G. So, 2 pi L equal to 1.28 over 1.635. That is our G at moon so we get mm, T equal to 5.56 second ok settle for number 5 E Okay, now we look at question number 5B. So, we have a 3 kilogram block is suspended on a vertical spring. So, kita ada vertical spring. Hmm, kita sketch sikit. Vertical spring. Spring. With mass. Lepas tu. When a 400 gram mass is added to the spring, it was further extended by 3.5 cm. Calculate the period of oscillation when the mass is made to oscillate vertically. Okay, kita lukis dulu. So, here is, here is our X. Okay, sini extended length. So, which is after we add 400. So, sini kita label x plus 0.035 mm. Okay, kat sini ya. Okay, so we take out the information given. So, dia bagi M13 kg. So, 3 kg the extent with X. Then, M2 equal to 3 plus 0 0.4 kg. So, the X2 equal to 
x plus 0 0.035 meter ok so calculate the period of the oscillation so we know that our t the equation for t period is this one for the spring oscillate spring t equal to 2 pi third m over k and f also equal to kx we get f equal to kx from the Hooke's law so we have two different mass kan so w1 equal to now f we substitute with w uh, w1 equal to kx1 so w equal to m1g equal to kx1 so sini substitute and here is mm, 3 9.81 equal to kx this is our first equation equation 1 Next, we have another equation. So, W2 equal to Kx2. M2, G equal to K, X2 kita, X plus 0 0.035. So, here is 3.4, 9.81, equal to kx plus 0.035. This is our second equation. Okay, so we have two equations now. Equation dekat situ Next to equation Simultaneous equation lah So Sini One equation One Divide by equation two So Dia jadi Three Nine point eight one Over 3.439.81 equal to kx over kx plus 0 0.035 we factorize we factorize factorize dia jadi so cancel sini cancel 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 same spring so same um key same spring constant so equation kita jadi mm -hmm, 3 x plus 0 0.035 equal to 3.4x so 3x plus 0 0.105 we expand the equation equal to 3.4x so we get x equal to 0 0.2625 meter Ok, so our objective of the question Kita nak cari period Bukan nak cari X So, apa nak buat ni? Kita nak cari T Nak substitute dekat Equation kita yang ini Ok, kita nak kena cari K dia So then, how to find K? So, we have two equation kat sini, so we use the, this one kita cuba guna itu ya so mm, so 3 9.81 
equal to kx so equal to equal to k 0 0.2625 so k equal to 112.11 newton per meter so now bolehlah cari t so t equal to 2 pi m over k so 2 pi m is 3 over k 112.11 so here we get 101 1 1.09 second continue this is our last question we get it from the pet skill booklet chapter 9 question number 15 ok so kita tengok soalan ni dia bagi graph soalan A tu try ya eh? so given a graph graph sign so apa boleh kita dapat daripada graph tu ok ya so, kita tengok graph ni graph sign kita extract the information first so given amplitude amplitude dia 5cm so lagi dekat sini here is the T period so period is 4 second ok question dia nak apa tu so question E uh, figure 4 shows a displacement time graph of simple harmonic motion determine the amplitude so settle A, amplitude, amplitude dia kita dapat 5cm. Ok next, tu dia nak suruh cari frekuensi. F equal to 1 over T, T kita dah ada. So 1 over 4, so sini kita dapat 1 over 4, 1 over 4 you get 0 0.25. Ok Settle to Number 3 Number 3 Dia nak angular velocity Angular velocity is Omega Omega equal to 2 pi F F dah ada So 2 pi times with 0 0.25 So sini kita dapat 0 0.5 Pi Radian per second Ok, one more The equation for simple harmonic motion So, general equation kita apa? So, general equation kita So, general equation General equation uh, X equal to A sin omega t a kita 5 sin omega is 0 0.5 pi t ok, kata dah ke tu? dah ke? ok, belum lagi so make sure we write the unit where x in cm and t in second ok, settle for question Question, oops, question number 5B. Okay, we continue with question number uh, 5, right, number 15. 15C. Okay, apa tu soalan dia? Kita tengok dulu soalan number 15C. So, we have a mass of, so mass given. Mass dia, colour blue lah. 
so mass is 0 0.175 kg tukar unit je siap-siap lagi mass 0, uh, 0 0.157 kg spring constant 8 newton per meter and oscillate by pulling it 10 cm from the equilibrium position so dia bagi x dia and release ok so, so 10 cm from the equilibrium position and release so tengok tengok dekat situ ok question number 15 c ok first dia nak suruh cari period so nak cari t dia so macam mana nak cari t ni T for the period So T equal to 2 pi over omega Omega kita ada tak ni? Ada omega? Omega tak ada So given is K K kita 8 newton per meter Kita nak cari omega Kita ada K So K equal to M omega square So omega equal to Set K over M So K kita dah ada So our K is 8 and mass is 0 0.175 So we get the value of K 6.76 radian per second Tapi soalan kita bukan nak cari omega Tapi kita nak cari T So T equal to 2 pi over omega so t equal to 2 pi over 6.76 so here we get 0 0.93 second ok settle c1 kita tengok c2 pula ok c2 maximum speed of the mass so v maximum equal to a omega A kita ada A kita mana A kita A dia bagi sini 10 cm So we change the unit to meter Here is 0 0.1 times the omega tadi 6.76 So sini kita dapat 0 0.676 meter per second And last one, dia nak total energy of the system. So, total energy E equal to U plus K. So, also equal to 1 over 2 Ka square. So, here equal to 1 over 2 K kita. 8 amplitude is 0 0.1 square. So, here we get 0.04 Joule. Okay. So, settle this question. Some of the questions from the past Q. Booklet in chapter 9. Okay. So, uh, hopefully, uh, you all get something. Boleh buat untuk revision. You all for the PSPM. So, that's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum. Very big thanks to Madam Noraida for her teaching and guidance. I hope that all of you have managed to improve your understanding and ability to tackle problems related to simple harmonic motion. If there is anything that you are still lacking, be it any chapter, any concepts, anything, act now. Don't be shy. DM or PM your lecturer and ask them. Remember, you have less than 5 weeks left before the final exam for this semester. Work hard now. Hard work always pays off. Right? The link to your attendance will be given soon. Don't forget to fill it in. That's all from me. Thank you and Assalamualaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.